Hello everyone, and welcome to today's unboxing slash review type of video. Today we're going to be unboxing a lot of products that I received from Timu. So thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited to show you guys the products that I picked. And I hope that you enjoy all the relaxing sounds that come with it. So thank you again to Timu and I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. I'm going to be recording it from this angle. So, um not top down and some of the products are quite big so i hope it's gonna fit well but i'm very excited to show you what i got and let's get started with the video so i first want to start with two products that i picked i picked all of these things myself by the way and i thought this was so cool i have a lot of tissue boxes at home and i don't really like how they look they just don't look good, right? Since I am trying to collect more vintage, old-looking furniture, I thought this looks really cool and fits pretty well. So this is a tissue box cover box, I don't know, and so you put your tissue box in this one and you put this on your table and it just looks like you have a few, I mean it doesn't look like it right, we can all see that it's not it's just a cool design and it's made out of wood So I also got a second one, this wooden one I'm planning to put on the table in my living room and I have another tissue box in my bedroom and um, for that I wanted a bit more of a um, neutral look, nothing as crazy as those books. So I think they call this Rotan or something. It's like this woven material. I don't really know how to call this, but I really like how it looks. It looks very natural and it fits the furniture in my bedroom. And yeah, I thought that this was just a nice way to make ugly tissue boxes look a bit better with your furniture and yeah, not as in your face. So I've got a bunch of flower-shaped pillows and these are incredibly soft. I really like the fabric. The quality seems pretty nice. And yeah, they're just extremely soft pillows and I think they're very cute. I've got one in a bit more of a blue-green 
And this is a bit more of a mossy green And this is, I mean, purple, lavender purple-ish My favorite color And I don't know where to put these yet, but eventually, and hopefully this year, I want to move and get a bigger PC office room And it would be nice to have a small couch in there or have like a big chill chair And I would dump cute pillows like these on there so, I am planning to use it in probably my own room Although I think in the living room it could be pretty nice too, you know They're so soft Let me show you the fabric up close Very soft, like a soft wool, I would say Then They tried to put a lot of these smaller things that I ordered together in this bag So I'm going to open this bag and we're just going to look it's mostly yarn and crochet stuff Because I've decided I want to learn how to crochet this year as a new hobby that is not PC related So I'm trying to teach myself how to crochet So this is literally a kit to learn how it, like it contains all the materials to make a certain thing and And this is a little kit to make this cute little penguin crochet penguin and um yeah like everything is in here it has like the filling and it has a white and a pink yarn because i picked the pink version Some brown yarn. Oh, it even has the right crochet hook and some stitch markers and some eyes. So, I didn't expect that. It literally has everything you need to make this little penguin. Then I ordered. Um, a few different yarns again A basic white and a blue and a black Because I thought that's always gonna be useful and this pink and I want to make like small plushies and I think it's gonna be super cute to give them away. I have a friend with a baby and I have co-workers that would like to receive a little personalized tiny plushie so 
I'm planning to just make all these little plushies and this yarn is just very fluffy and I think it's gonna look really nice With that, I ordered a few needles because you need quite big needles for crocheting and I didn't have any big ones and I did have some plastic needles that came with a package I ordered at some point but it bends too much and I don't like the plastic ones so I just got some actual needles so that's some of the crochet stuff then I see you thinking what the hell is this but I got a backdrop like a background for when I'm filming and I also got the um like the stands they're in a different package and I've for the longest time wanted to have some um, black background for, I don't know, for some ASMR videos, I think sometimes it can be nice to have a darker background and I just never have this option. So now at least I do have the option. I am curious, I've never done this, so I gotta try it out first, of course, but we've got a black backdrop. And the last things in this small bag of like smaller products um, this one was in a different bag so I didn't see it but I also got a dark red yarn it's it's a bit darker in real life it's a nice dark red and These are all little pins, like eyes, that I can pop in a little plushie when I crochet one and then I can give it like an, a nose or eyes. So basically eyes and noses for when I'm crocheting. And then this package. These are hair clips It's a really nice material, it's like this soft feeling plastic Like it's definitely plastic, but it's it has like a soft feel to it and I've been waiting so long for the final package of these three to be able to film this video because I've been wanting to put these in my hair for so long. I'm gonna see if I can just quickly show you how I would do this. Simple like that. So yeah, I have no idea how this looks, but at least I got some nice butterfly clips in the colors that I really like. Now the last thing that I'm about to show you is the um, the camera stands or the backdrop stands basically and they're in this bag it does look pretty um, uh, convenient for transportation there's like these little velcro things And then you can unfold it. There's like these pipes. And then there's these stands that are kind of like camera stands. And from what I remember, I've used a backdrop once in the past and you can 
you have like one of these pipes with holes in it and you can like just lay it down on top of here and then you throw the black fabric that I have over it and then you tighten the fabric with these things So, I definitely need to try that out for a video at some point now. So, these were all the Timo products that I received. I'm actually very happy and surprised by how good the quality is. The yarn is extremely soft. It doesn't smell bad. The hair clips, I really like the material and it feels very sturdy. This could just be something that I buy in a um, store nearby, you know, like, it just feels the exact same. The pillows are so soft, I really like the pillows, and they don't seem to lose um, the fabric a lot. I also really like the rotan material for the tissue box, and I haven't tried the backdrop itself yet because... Um, it requires a bit of setting up and it's quite big, but the um, stands themselves are sturdy, they look pretty good, and the backdrop fabric is very thick, it's like a very thick material. I've ordered a very cheap uh, green screen before um, at some point on a different website, and it's very thin, flimsy, I feel like it's almost a paper-like material, like I could just tear it, and this backdrop is really thick, I cannot tear that, so I have very good hopes for that. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed my Timu haul. They really have a lot of cool products, they have lots of cute figurines and plushies and lots of cutesy stuff, I really had to contain myself to not buy all these cutesy things because I have a lot of cutesy things already. I went for more practical things this time, so proud of myself for that one. But definitely check them out, they have so much stuff and very affordable prices. So thank you guys for being here, I hope that you enjoyed this video and definitely check out my link in my description for Timu, check out their website, I hope that you guys are all sleeping.